Hey everyone, it's time for another Pick, Pick of the, the Week! week. Hooray! Um, it is a nasty day out there. Yeah, it's horrible. It's so wet and cold and awful and it might snow. <laughs> Which is good for Pick of the Week because yeah. we can like actually close for five minutes. Without somebody coming in. We and tried... I, it's been surprisingly busy today for oh, really? how awful it is outside though. Like everybody just coming in just like sopping wet. At least we're all in it together, you yeah, know? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> We tried to do it last week, but we just, like, could not get a minute. No, there was just people in. Well, it was nice. It was, it was so nice. I've been opening the door. Whoa. Uh, yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're almost there. I have not been opening the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's one day. Remember that meme you sent me where it was like, is the door open? I, somebody said the door wasn't open. <laughs> it's going to be open. Trust me, it's coming. Full okay, time. Exciting. Um, what else is coming? Free oh, comic yes. book day. Best day of the year. Uh, I'm so obsessed. Uh, Terry Moore did this art for Free Comic Book Day. You, if you come in, you probably got a free sticker. If you didn't, we have so many. I got like 500 stickers because I just love the artwork so much. And I even got shirts so you can buy your own shirt. Uh, I think we have them from like small to extra, extra large. We got a limited run. So get yours. We I both got ours. Yeah, yeah we we're, did. We're ready to go. I love it. <laughs> I did actually wear it last week, but alas. I'm saving mine. I'm like, it's free comic book day. And then after that, it's just, it's, you know, anytime. <laughs> you gotta keep it pristine. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so Saturday, May 4th. May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. The books may or may not be, you know, trickling in already. So, yeah, you know, we're going to be good to go. Um, some places ordered, like, way too many, I saw. Yeah, yeah, the bundles versus the singles. <laughs> that is the hard part about ordering these. So, like, most of them come in, like, a bundle of 20, 25. So you order, like, two or three bundles and you get 50 of them. But sometimes they're just singles, so people think they're bundles and it just creates a mess. Yeah, some people order, like, thousands. That's why the two of us work well, because, like, we can both <laughs> double check it as that's opposed good. to just one person being like, I think that's right. <laughs> Yay, teamwork. <laughs> All right, somebody's at the door, so we better go. Yeah, um, well, you do yours first. Okay, you exciting. Um, my pick of the week is also our downtown comics book club pick. Woohoo! It is Diaz de Consuelo by Dave Ortega. Um, and it is about the Mexican Revolution that happened about 100 years ago. Um, it was quite a messy revolution. Uh, but this actually kind of is the perspective of, like, the women who didn't necessarily, like, fought. But, like, you know, how scary it could be when you're losing loved ones and uh, try you're kind of in the middle of, of the war and just trying to, like you know, get married and have children and take care of your family and everything is just like totally chaotic and the Mexican Revolution especially was pretty chaotic. Like a leader would come into power and then there'd be a coup and someone else would come to power and there was a lot of, uh, yeah, fights about, yeah, who was gonna win and then you had the Zapatas kind of over there doing their thing and so yeah, it's, it's a really interesting story um, and it's cool. It comes from a really small press, Radiator Comics um, in New Mexico. We had to order it specially from them. Um, so you're definitely not going to find this anywhere else. Um, and we only have one copy left. Uh, so it could be yours. Um, and yeah, so we're going to be talking about it at book club next Wednesday at 7 o'clock, either in person at Tazlo across the street or online. So get it now. All right. And what's your pick? Uh, another thing we only have one copy of. This was supposed to be my pick last week, but we... Uh... We just couldn't find the time, so I've been selling them all since then. But there's one left. I can order more if you want it. It's When I Arrived at the Castle. Emily Carroll, she was in the... We did one of her books for the book club, I guess, in the house. This is one of her older works, and it's been out of print and super expensive for a long time. So Silver Sprocket, I believe, reprinted it. And boy, oh boy, it's got this, like, cool foil lettering on the cover. And basically, it's about this kind of, like... Uh, a uh, fawn girl that goes to this castle and there's a mistress there and she is spooky and she's there to kill the mistress because she's disappearing people and you just get it's kind of like a erotic horror story but you get all this beautiful Emily Carroll artwork and if anybody's read her stuff before like her use of like doing black and white and then adding those splashes of color is just incredible but this book is awesome I waited so long to read it uh, and I finally got to and it did not disappoint. This book is incredible. It's a quick read. It's definitely, definitely worth picking up. This book is so cool. And I'm glad that they reprinted it. It's like, I hate when things go out of print and they become super expensive because I just love to get books in people's hands. But like, look at this stuff. It's gorgeous. And yeah, uh, 
you should definitely check this book out. Uh, when I arrived at the castle, I actually, uh, admitting this in front of the boss, but when this came in, I just went and read it right away. Uh, I had to, I've been dying to read it for a few years. So yeah, you got to pick this up. We got one left. Shoot us a message, let us know. You do not want to miss this again. I mean, reading's on the job. It's part of the work. Um, <laughs> we were supposed to shoot the video then too. So I kind of was like, I need to read something. Awesome. Well, I think that's everything. I think that is everything. Oh, we got new lighting. Yeah, we got a lot of new light. Uh, let us know what you think. We even got more this week. It's very bright in here. We got one behind the... Oh. Yeah, right? Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Renovations. Yeah, who knows? We're, you can, we're part of the fun. You can kind of hear it. You can kind of hear it. It's still going on. Uh, yeah. There's we're a rumor good. we might get a new window. So we'll see. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Peace. See you next time.